All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Holster Month with 1776 or Bust. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these because it's actually taking me longer to edit these videos than to actually make them. But uh, let's talk about this holster that you see in front of you. Again, this is probably one of the most known out there. 99.9% uh, .9 of you probably either own one of these or, exact, or know exactly who it's made by. And this, of course, is from Vetter Holsters. Vetter Holsters, obviously one of the biggest name brands in the industry, at least in my opinion, make very good stuff. I remember when I first got my first holster from them for my PPQ, I uh, kind of bashed them a little bit, but then after using it for a long, uh, long period of time, I realized, boy, these are actually really good holsters. Now, this one here is for my Steyr M9. Fantastic. One of the reasons why I picked this up was because there's just not a lot of offerings out there. But just for those of you uh, negative Nancys who think that Steyr suck because there's no aftermarket, just so you know, they make very good holsters for this gun. So let's take a look at the holster. Again, one of the things that uh, Vetter is known for is this clip right here. So you have that steel clip. And, um, you know, it's a nice tight fit on any belt that you wear. As long as you wear a good belt, guys, it's going to work no matter what. You'll notice that you do have a, quite a bit of movability on these clips. Um, so, again, you can see the extreme uh, angle of cant that I was actually using this holster for for a while. And you can always adjust where this goes. You can adjust the height. Um, again, you can see that hole just barely poking out right there. But uh, you have your single point retention. I mean, the, the molding quality is very good. And it, it fits like a glove, guys. I mean, there's really not much negative to say about this handgun. So as I've shown on all the other videos, we'll do a test fit. And uh, we'll get it to right about there. And that's where that resistance point is. And then nice solid click. Heavy, heavy gun, guys. And it holds it in place. So fantastic offering from Vetter Holsters. Again, like I've said in the past, guys, these videos are geared for people who need some good ideas for holsters from people who are going to tell you the honest truth about them. Um, again, none of these holster companies sponsor the channel. Not getting paid to do this. I'm doing this to just try to help out and see if you guys um, either want to buy the holsters or at least want to get some perspective on it. Again, the videos are short, but uh, that's what they're meant to be. Again, leave comments down below, guys. Tell me what you think about Vetter, if you've used them, if you do like them, if you hate them, whatever. Uh, thumbs up if you want to, thumbs down if you want to. Hopefully you're enjoying the series, and um, have a great night, guys. Stay safe, and as always, freedom is never free.